Hey everyone, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Jack. I'm Tangy. And we're doing our first winter garden update. Well, it's late fall, early fall. What day is it? But uh, we're still in fall. In about two days, it's gonna be November. So this is our first fall garden and we want to show you how everything's going. So, I don't know, the dog's going nuts on something. The dog is playing with, I think Probably a, gra a grasshopper. A grasshopper. Yeah. All right, so, uh, I'm gonna turn this around and we're gonna follow Tangy around in the garden. Follow me. All right, so over here in this front bed is where we have planted a bunch of stuff. Um, and you guys know that I tend to just put stuff somewhere and then hope for the best. Uh, but we've got a bunch of cabbage. I've got radishes. Some of them are doing okay. The other ones are getting shaded out by the cabbage, which is fine. Um, I've got some great noble spinach that is germinated up here in the front. We've got our zucchini plant back here that's doing really well. And then over here I've got a bunch of different kinds of radishes that are germinating. I don't know if we will actually get any zucchinis. I have a couple that have blossoms on them, but I don't know if they have been germinated or I don't know if they've been pollinated or not. Okay. So this bed I am particularly excited about. Uh, we've got Brussels sprouts and it's the first time that we have grown Brussels sprouts. They look like they're doing really well. They're loving this cooler weather. Down here I've got some more cabbage. Um, I also see that I've got a couple of volunteer zinnia plants that have come up. And then around this trellis, I actually just planted some snow peas. I don't know if they'll do anything or not, but I thought we'd give it a try and see how it goes. I planted something over here from seed, but I don't remember what I planted and I didn't mark it. And it doesn't matter because the dog has dug it up anyway. Okay, over here is our double decker raised bed. And right through here, we have broccoli and i am so excited if you have been watching our channel for any length of time you know my great love of broccoli so i have a bed full of it and it's doing really really well however our uh butternut squash is not faring so well um i think i'm probably just gonna have to go ahead and pull it up you can see that the leaves are dying the squash has blossom and rot uh, a lot of them aren't i mean it's just not really doing anything i have fed it um so i don't know we don't know what's going on um but i'm not gonna give up we'll, we'll try again next year all right over here is a bed of greens. You can see we've got some beautiful lettuce that has popped up right here. That is our butter crunch lettuce. And then down through here, I have a line of spinach. And then just recently, I've gone through here and I have planted kale. So we're hoping that it does really well. We just have to see if the dogs stay out of it. <laughs> So back here in this bed, we have our turnips, which are doing really, really well. It looks like I need to come through here, and maybe harvest some more of the greens. Um, our onions, these are our Egyptian walking onions. They're doing really well. And then over here, I've planted uh, kale. Some of it has popped up. Some, I see uh, little sprouts also. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep hoping that they continue to do well as the temperatures continue to drop. So the last bed we have here are is our green beans. Um, some of them are doing okay and some of them have been dug up. But right here, this is, this is what I'm most excited about is this area right through here is our garlic that I planted. So we're hoping for a good garlic harvest uh, in the next several months. Okay, so we hope you guys enjoyed this uh, fall garden update. We still have some things that we have to do and I know that uh, sometime this week we're supposed to experience our first freeze. So uh, we'll keep you updated on that. So that's all we've got for you today. Until next time.